In this lesson, we'll discuss boiling points and solubility of amines. The question reads, the compound trimethylamine and ethylmethylamine have the same molar mass. Why is the boiling point of trimethylamine, 3 degrees Celsius, lower than that of ethylmethylamine, 37 degrees Celsius? That's a big difference. Let's discuss this. So if we draw out trimethylamine, that's the common name for a compound that looks like this, where we have nitrogen, single bonded to three methyl groups. And ethylmethylamine looks like this, where we have nitrogen, it has the alkyl group ethyl, so CH3, CH2, and then the substituent methyl, CH3. As you can see, this nitrogen, this amine, is a secondary amine, where it also has a hydrogen. This one is a tertiary amine. Notice the three substituents. So it has to do with secondary amines having higher boiling points than tertiary. Whenever you have NH bonds, that's the polar part of the molecule. And we see that with ethylmethylamine. They can actually form hydrogen bonds with each other. And it's this reason that a higher temperature is required to break the hydrogen bonds and form a gas. However, with trimethylamine, it's a tertiary nitrogen. We don't have that luxury that we did with this molecule having this polar relationship here. Therefore, it cannot hydrogen bond with other trimethylamine molecules. And as stated here, it has a boiling point at 3 degrees Celsius only. So not a lot of temperature is needed to form a gas. Very volatile. In question two, why is this molecule more soluble in water than this molecule? I want to start off by actually naming these two. Here we have diethylamine. Now this is the common name. I'm not writing the IUPAC name. That's fine. And this one right here is N. We have propyl. N propyl 1 butanamine. This is the IUPAC name. And in case you're curious, the common name is N propyl butylamine. So why is this one more soluble? They both have this NH, so we can't use that as an excuse. So they're polar in that sense, and they form hydrogen bonds with each other. It turns out that when there are seven or more carbon atoms in the alkyl portions of the amine, as you can see with the bottom one, the longer nonpolar hydrocarbon chain diminishes the solubility effect of the polar amine. So you have to look for amine compounds with six or fewer carbon atoms for it to become soluble in water. And that's the case here. And there you have it. A quick discussion on boiling points and solubility of amines.